All right, I'm gonna make a chicken and not just any chicken. I'm using a spatchcock chicken, but it's gonna be a peri-peri chicken. If you wanna know how to spatchcock a chicken yourself, click the link below, I did a little demo on it. Or you can just ask your friendly butcher to do it for you. This story, this peri-peri story starts off with a little bit of oil in the pan. I'm using olive oil today, not extra virgin olive oil. Into my pan, I'm gonna put garlic, ginger and onions. Now these have all been brumized by hand and that is valuable, trust me, when it comes to this sauce. So, so we just started that off in the pan and now we're gonna get chilies. So I've got long red chilies in here, predominantly, there's a lot of them. I've also got a small bird's eye chili as well. All right, next up, I've got some lemon zest. So just keep an eye on the bottom of your pan. We don't want too much caramelization going on. We just want a nice sort of even flow. Okay, so now I've got a little spot of sugar. It's not too much, but a little bit. I want to start some caramelization going on and good pinch of salt. So we can see I'm just getting a little bit of color on the pan, which I don't want too much caramelization. So just adding a little spot of water just to deglaze that off. This has been sweating now for about five minutes, let's say. So now I'm gonna hit it with some lemon juice and some apple cider vinegar. Good glug of olive oil. Again, it's olive oil, not extra virgin olive oil. Now, if you have a look at that inside that pot, have a look at the colors that are going on in there. And what I wanna do is turn the heat right down now. So low setting and just let it tick over. And for the onions, the garlic and the ginger in particular to become really, really, really soft. I find if you give it just a little bit of a blitz, so don't, don't blitz the whole thing crazy style, just give it a little couple of squirts. And so if you could imagine blending like maybe a quarter of it, see how it's changed. It's a little bit less oily and a little bit more sauce-like. So like any good chicken, we need to season it properly okay so always from the inside in the legs give it a good hit of salt to the skin underneath that fillet there the next thing is we want to get our marinade in here so put it on liberally like don't be shy here honestly if you could cook it inside the peri peri sauce even better can we say that that's liberally marinated i think we can right now we're just gonna turn the bird around and then we're gonna do exactly the same as we did on the other side, which is put a load of marinade on here. The recipe I've given you, you'll see, is enough to do one chicken liberally, right? All right, so that's it. The bird is covered in peri-peri sauce. All we gotta do is get it in the wood oven. Oh, oh. You can see that having a rack is a, is a really good idea just to make sure that you protect that tender breast meat as much as possible. Everyone argues over breast versus thigh meat in our house, right? So I like to cut it all up so everyone gets a little bit of everything, right? With the legs, I go in the little, little wing guys. Everyone loves those wings. And then I cut the breast into sort of five or six pieces. Look at that. So be a knife on and then just that under, and that is pretty much it. A very easy way to get a whole chicken on the table and a peri-peri sauce that you'll be passing on to the next generation. Thanks for watching, and if you liked that, please click subscribe because there's plenty more where that came from. Also, if there's a recipe that you actually wanna see me make, chuck it in the comments below and we'll get around to it. Thanks for watching.